So we want to read the resolution. Resolution of the Cerebral Economic and Redevelopment Agency to go into executive closed session. Not to read any of the rest. Do you want to read the first part? Um, that, yeah, well, what do we what do we need to have to read the rest? You, you have to read the resolution. You have copies of it. There are copies yeah, available so, yeah. for the public. You're okay. I have a motion to go into closed. I make a motion. Uh, second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Seven. First item on the agenda for closed session is A, River Road. Chair back in, we'll start again. Uh, oh, jeez. I, 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 I had to wake him up. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> it. And I'm going to get to a Oh, just want to make sure. All right, under new business, B, we're going to skip over A. We're going to just do B, resolution, uh, CPV company easement. Thank you, uh, Chairman. Um, as I mentioned earlier in the uh, uh, session, open session, uh, CPV has asked for a, a, our signature on an affidavit of ownership and consent, which would allow uh, CPV to submit applications to the DEP. They also asked for approval of an easement. Um, I, uh, my recommendation is we do not approve the easement tonight, that we simply authorize Mr. Ambrosio to sign the consent, uh, but that not uh, get signed and released until the uh, CPV provides us uh, uh, proof of insurance coverage and indemnification that's satisfactory to the executive director and, and to the agency attorney. We have a motion to approve this resolution. I'm going to a motion. Stated. We approve on roll call vote. Second. Second. Roll call, please. Wait, we're running up. Mr. Yes. Mr. Newton? Yes. Mr. Travisano? Mr. Travisano. Put the hearing in. Are you voting for Mr. Travisano? Yes. How much <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mike, do you think I should vote this or? Does he know my name yet? Uh, uh, Fifty years. He's yeah, not my name. Yes. No, I want to make sure. Yeah. No, my name. Yeah. You said yes. Yeah. Right there. Uh, Mr. Delina. <laughs> yes. Councilwoman Kilpatrick. Yes. Councilman Lundell. Yes. Who seconded this? I did. Vicky. Yeah, because yeah, we're running. All right. Any comments from the commissioners? Yeah. We're not always. We have a motion open to the public. I make a motion we open to the public. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed, I have it. Chairman. To speak to I, I see Mr. Worsinger here. He's, I see him too. He's, <laughs> he's rather tall and hard to miss. Uh, Mr. Worsinger. Uh, yeah, you should set up. I respect that again. We didn't want you in here, right? Uh, yeah, I know. It was nice to see you, though. I should have stayed over some part of this meeting at all. Uh, thank you, sir. Um, I'll, 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 let me set it up. Okay. Thank you. Mr. Mr. Worsinger represents PRC in the River Road Development Project. Uh, we've exchanged some correspondence over the last week and had telephone conversation. Um, I expressed to Mr. Worsinger's uh, uh, the agency's. Uh, I'll call it distress at how long it's taken for the project to uh, get started, uh, that it's been more than 10 years, um, and that there are certain things that have occurred over the 10 years uh, since the redevelopment agreement has been signed that have sort of changed the environment in which we're building. Uh, some of those changes were the, the developer discovering that there were uh, a large area of uh, wetlands on the property that uh, caused him to change his development. We discussed that at previous meetings. Uh, 
I think it was two years ago, the developers back uh, and uh, this agency made a recommendation uh, that the council send to the planning board uh, to look at the site to see whether there might be something else that could be done on the site that might be easier for the developer uh, to accomplish. Uh, that didn't happen and there's been no progress going forward and, and now um, the town for the last year and a half has been battling with the uh, COA requirements in the uh, Superior Court and um, there's been a request from the uh, um, borough side for the agency to assist the borough in trying to come up with creative ways of addressing the affordable housing requirements of the town. So uh, what I'd, I'd recommend to the agency, if the commissioners are willing to do it, is to give PRC uh, the next 30 days to renegotiate the redevelopment agreement with us. Uh, PRC has indicated in the past a desire to redevelop, re renegotiate the redevelopment agreement. Their idea of a renegotiated agreement and our idea might be different. Um, I think our idea would be for um, the site to be the location of 160 to 200 affordable units. I'm sure the redeveloper would like to see um, something else there. Uh, but I, I would recommend that rather than taking any adverse action right now, we give the redeveloper 30 days to meet with us to talk about uh, and work out a, a new contract that's acceptable to both sides that addresses our current concerns and, and color uh, requirements. And then at our September 28th meeting, hopefully we'll be discussing that new and better contract. Or, or not, and we can take whatever action is appropriate at, at that time. Um, and Peter, I don't know how you or your client feel about spending the next 30 days working with us to try to renegotiate, but I, I think we'd love to hear from you. We would welcome the opportunity. Yeah. I, and, and I truly understand multiple sides to, to this whole transaction. Um, and clearly it has been um, an odyssey, not a sprint. Um, that having been said, I would suggest that it has been um, an odyssey that both um, parties have um, um, taken part in. And it's, it's, it's not a situation where there has been no action, uh, no attempts um, over the last 10 years. In fact, I, can, can, I will candidly disclose to you that uh, PRC River Road Development has expended probably over in excess of $600,000. Um, in counting some of the deposits um, that have been made, but with architectural plan and revisions and engineering and, and so forth. I mean, I, we have met um, extensively with uh, designated board members, agency members. We have met um, exhaustively um, over many years um, with your entire professional um, staff to try to come to um, a viable uh, development plan. I, I'm sure that you're all familiar, and, I don't, and I, my intention is not here to be the dead horse and, and to go over matters that, that most everyone is familiar with, but to follow up on what Michael um, had indicated, you know, when this first started, there was a, uh, an optimistic belief that there would be a development that might even reach 274 units, uh, 52 acres of developable property. Uh, that now is 17 acres. Uh, based upon environmental constraints and, and a host of other matters. Some, um, some because of wetlands, some because of uh, contamination, the railroad, and, 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 and other matters. Um, we all know what New Jersey has gone through specifically in the country generally over the last 10 years, starting with uh, the Great Recession um, and then New Jersey being pounded by Sandy. I mean, there's a host of reasons um, that have led to an effort to, with, with multiple parties, including the council, including um, Sarah, to, to try to find a viable plan. It, just to elaborate a little bit on, on where we stood uh, two years ago in, in um, May of uh, 15, we had come back and made a proposal um, with certain broad parameters. Uh, we accepted a, a purchase price that would be reflective of the appraisal that indeed uh, this agency did. Uh, there was no uh, quibbling over what the unit price would be, accepted that. 
We suggested, though, that a viable development at that time would, would, would and should and, 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 and could include um, both an a, um, age-restricted element as well as a market rate element. Um, there were other matters. We, we agreed to do uh, renovations to the senior center. Um, um, and in order to, in an effort to implement that, this board sent a resolution to Mayor and Council um, recommending that the issue of modifying the redevelopment plan in terms of age restriction be referred to the planning board for its consideration. Now, that was not approved. And as Mr. Baker indicated, it wasn't long after that um, that, that the whole issue of COA reared its, its head again that, that uh, placed all municipalities um, back in, in the conundrum of dealing with that. There was, as I understand it, a settlement entered into oh, a year ago. Um, and indeed, the River Road site was one of the designated parcels. Not involving Sarah, I'm talking about the municipality. Oh, exactly. um, that has yet to be implemented. Had, and, and it's been a, that had in itself has been an odyssey. Um, but the fact of the matter is, we were also waiting for what would come out of that and what allocation factors and what ordinance changes in terms of density or otherwise might be implemented to effectuate that. That's by way of background, just to. So having said that, <coughs> um, we realize, uh, we have heard, um, I don't want to say rumors, but we've heard preferences about all affordable housing. We've heard issues about veterans housing. Uh, we're not opposed to any of those concepts. Uh, we have concerns, I mean, I'll tell you now that whether there is a big enough pool for a veterans to, to limit this or to dedicate it exclusively for veteran housing. I mean, even now, forget about World War I, excuse me, World War II, which my father was, if I don't know, but he's no longer with me, um, or Korea, but you know, Vietnam veterans are now even in the age from 62 to 70, um, or, or old older. So, I mean, that, that's a concern, but we would have no problem, for example, on that issue to give priority uh, to, to veterans. I, I'm not sure it could be exclusively dedicated for that purpose. Um, we certainly can look at that. And Peter, we, I, I think the thinking is a veteran's preference. We understand that it might not uh, be We're on the same page then. Mm -hmm. I, you know, we, we would have no objection uh, to that type of thing. We have even taken the proactive measure of, of um, not partnering up, but bringing in as a consultant and or perhaps um, um, as a more active role, um, entities that are, that specialize in tax credits if this were going to be a largely um, affordable um, housing. I mean, one of the things in my letter, um, I, although I didn't spell it out to you, one of the modifications that we were thinking was, if you remember, this turned out to be basically two islands of developable property um, that were not connected, and, but to, and, and the plan at that time was to do one side market rate and the other um, senior, the other uh, age restricted. Um, we have, we would probably um, like to entertain or discuss with the possibility of making this a, not a 50-50, but a two-thirds affordable housing. I mean, if it has to be 100%, I, you know, we can discuss that, but largely affordable, but that would require us to um, bring in some tax credit folks, experts on it, and, and we're willing to do that. We've already advanced the ball on our end to do that. So this is a long way of telling you that we're willing to engage in that. Um, this has been a 10-year uh, marriage. Um, I don't think that we should um, precipitously get divorced. Um, so we would like to work with you. So you got 30 days. That's the <laughs> bottom line. What well, we would like to do um, is rather than try to come up with a con just a concept on our own in isolation is if your staff is available, we would like to meet with them, any designated uh, members um, who you would like to have and, and get that input um, and make it more meaningful. Okay. Okay. We'll set something up. Thank you. I'll be I'll be in touch. Okay. Thank you. And it'll, Thank probably, you. it'll probably be as you described the professionals and a subcommittee of the agency. All right. I All appreciate right. it. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Can I see if I can get some answers to that yes. other project? I'm so sorry. No, Before you leave, um, I have a question. It, I, I was just made aware of um, another development that PRC is in the process of building. Is this in the Morgan section of town? Approximately 140 units. Um, what were the what uh, the Golden Age? Yes. 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 Do you have any info it's, on that? It's 96 units. It's 96. Yeah, it's 96 units? Yeah. Um, of those 96 units, um, none are affordable? 
housing units? Um, no, I don't believe any are. For, they are 100% um, senior age restricted. Okay, 100% senior age restricted. Do you know the bedrooms of those? Yet? Like one, two bedroom? One I two? think there, there are nothing in excess of two. I think that's the constraint um, that was in, so that it's one and two bedrooms. Okay, so it's uh, actually 96 units, not 140, zero yep. of which are um, affordable units. Um, all age restricted, 100% mm -hmm. age restricted. Um, what is that? Is that 55 and over? What is that? It's 55 and over. 55 and over. And somewhere between one and two bedroom units. Um, so the, 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 I couldn't tell you the mix right okay. now, but there are one and two. What's one. the pricing on that? I wish I had known. I, I, I would. I, I'll be glad to share um, uh, this with you. It, it's it's not a science fact. Right, we're trying to time. we're trying to get right now um, non-binding um, advance authorization. Did they something. start on that? Did they start yeah. on this? Yeah. Their site work. Yeah. Site work. I mean, done because on. I don't. There's no signs or anything. Well, I can tell you this. I, I, I will share this with you too. We are literally this close to closing on the construction loan. Okay. So. Everything that's going on now, and it doesn't look like a whole lot, has been strictly equity yeah. based. Um, but um, that's why we don't Columbia know. is is providing the financing. Um, we've had the commitment. We are literally. Uh, I've reviewed and um, revised loan documents. We are literally days away from closing. Okay. Having said that, it'll probably take uh, two weeks. <laughs> but but, but it, it's that. <laughs> All right. Anything else? No, I just needed that. Yeah, no, I, and, and just to put it in a, in a very simple summary, given the fact that the planning board um, did not entertain changing the age restriction constraints on it, ultimate decision was made, build according to the original approval, and just. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's, how long that's what we want to hear. Yeah, that's what <laughs> yeah. we wanted to hear. Yeah. You don't know how long ago uh, this process had started. <laughs> Your chair will probably tell you 50 years ago. No. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and it's, it, it's gone through. Board. It's gone through a more a metamorphosis of, of uh, different approvals and uses. The uh, the last approval, I think it, I'd be. I, it, it's a pure guess if I say 2009. Um, but again, this was part of the. The original. But, but this was part of the uh, 2015 uh, proposal to, to both Sarah and um, a referral to the mayor and council to uh, not lift entirely, but to modify the age restriction so that there could be a blend. And Becky, they, they had asked to tie the relief on both sides together, and nobody was really warm and fuzzy about that. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. Thanks, Peter. You bet. Have a motion to close the public portion. Second so motion to close the public portion. Second motion. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And can I have a motion to adjourn? Make a motion when you adjourn. Your second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed by second. Thank you, everyone. All right. Thank our uh, standard uh, subcommittee.